It's cream cheese and white chocolate, layer of jam and the cookie base and... Looking for an easy dessert that's as delicious to eat as it is to make? Then you've got to try Chocolate Cream Cheese Temptation Bars. Start with one half cup of margarine and you scoop this into a decent sized bowl. Then you're going to add a quarter cup of icing sugar. Blend those together. You could use beaters, but I like using a spoon. To this, we're going to add one cup of white flour. This is going to make the base for our temptation bars. Once you have these blend together, pack them down into a non-greased baking dish. The original recipe actually calls for a 9 by 13, but I decided that this was going to be thin enough, so this is actually an 8 by 8 pan. While the base is baking, you can start prepping for another layer. This layer includes one cup of white chocolate chips, which you are going to melt, and one package of cream cheese. Now, the cream cheese is much easier to work with if you have it at room temperature. I must admit my cream cheese was not at room temperature, which made it a little more difficult to work with. However, with the heat from the melted chocolate, it did make this a little easier. These are things that I get to work with and you get to discover ahead of time. <laughs> I gave up on my spoon and started using my fork. This creams things together better. Add in two tablespoons of milk. Again, you could be using beaters, but Steve is actually sleeping at this moment and I don't want to wake him up. <laughs> It's a good workout. <laughs> now that the base is all cooked, you can add a layer of your favorite jam. You can use strawberry, you can use raspberry, you can use whatever kind you like. Either way, it adds a delicious layer and beautiful color. Once you have the jam spread on, then you take your cream cheese and white chocolate mix, carefully spoon it over the top, and then very gently spread it around. You don't want the layers to mix, if at all possible. I think a spoon is a good idea here rather than your beaters. <laughs> Once you have it to all the corners, take the dish, put it in the fridge, and we'll of course have a little taste on the way by. <laughs> now we're going to start prepping for our top layer, and yes, it is going this quickly. This is one cup of dark chocolate chips, and we are going to melt these as well. Into this we are going to add three tablespoons of margarine. We are going to blend these together and just using your spoon works well because the chocolate is warm and it melts through the butter. We bring out our dessert and the cream cheese mixture is hardened so now we can pour and spread the chocolate on top and then we are going to chill this again. Now I want to tell you right now that the chocolate topping is going to really harden. So what you don't see here but I'm going to give you the tip now 
is that if you let these cool completely, it's going to be very difficult to cut through this chocolate layer. So don't let them harden too much. Cut them about five minutes into the cooling process and uh, the chocolate shouldn't move around on you. Then it's simply a matter of serving them out and enjoy. <laughs> Please be sure to share this video and give it a thumbs up if you think it looks really tempting. I'll see you the next time. Enjoy!